Hello guys, I'm Bad Brick Studio and welcome to another video. Today we're going to take a look at how to make your project files in Scratch as small as possible with a simple little trick. So as you might have already guessed from the title of this video, it has to do with a trick surrounding sounds in Scratch. I have this sound, this dance chill out sound from the Scratch library and it's just been imported from there and if you now go ahead and export the file, you can see that it exports as a WAV file. As you can see it exports as a WAV file. This is how all Scratch sound files are stored that are from the library. I can also however go ahead and choose this other file which is if you look here an mp3 file and if I upload it you can see that it's been uploaded and if I now export the file again it's also exported as an mp3 file and therefore it stays if i however chose to make it softer in so make it quieter or do any of the other changes here and export it it's going to be converted automatically by scratch into an wav file so if we now take a look at both of these files which are the exact same basically you can see that the mp3 file is smaller than the wav file and this gets exponentially bigger the bigger the original file or the longer the file is but why is this actually? For this we'll have to take a look at the file formats that are used here. So the WAV format is one of them. It is the main format used by Microsoft Windows systems for raw and typically uncompressed audio. However, MP3 uses lossy data compression to encode data using inexact approximations and partial discarding of data. This allows of a large reduction in file size when compared to uncompressed audio. So the key to this is that the mp3 files are compressed and therefore are much smaller. However, if you make changes to them it, and use the scratch sounds, it typically gets converted to WAV, which is a bigger format, which takes much more space. And this goes to such an extent that it can influence your project if you import big or small files into your game. So if you use WAV or MP3. And I'm going to show you this with the example of my Star Wars Battlefront game which is a really big project and the file size is really huge and it takes a while to load because of this big file size as you can see i'll just show you how long it will take to load with the files that are used and this is it here we have the project loaded and it took quite a while now we'll go see inside the project and export the project file this is again going to take some time so i'll see you when it's loaded so now we are inside the project and we have several sounds in the project. The main ones are, for example, the blaster sounds, 
but these are actually rather small sounds and really short sounds under a second usually so they are not going to have a huge impact on the game sound stored here that are much much bigger as you can see right here and now we'll take a look at how big these are so i'm just going to take this soundtrack and export it and as you can see this one is a VAV type and when you look at the file you can see that it's quite a big file so I'm going to save this project to my computer to see how big these files are and as this is a rather large project this will of course take some time so let's wait and as you can see here is the sb3 file and when we now go into downloads we can see that this is actually pretty large so this this file has a size of 114 megabytes which is quite a large size for a scratch project now if i tell you that most of this is actually from sounds you probably wouldn't believe me so we'll just take a look at the sounds inside the project and then i'm going to convert all of these sounds to mp3 via audacity here so let's go export all of these sounds went ahead and made all of the folders i'm going to store the uvav and the mp3 files in and now i'm going to export them So now we're gonna hop on over into Audacity and we're gonna go import audio. And then we are going to search for said. Folders with the files and then we're just gonna go import and export as mp3 we are going to select our folder but this time we'll use the mp3 one and we can just go hit save So now that we've exported all of these files, we are going to go through the project one by one and in for example here these files from the best bin thing, from all of these environmental sounds, 
for the ground face we're going to go through these and delete all of these then we're going to upload sounds and go for the ambience ground sounds and as they all have the exact same names as the ones before they should fit perfectly in so here we have all of these sounds and also the names are of course the same so this works out fine too then we go to the and here in the music one we do the exact same deleting all of these four files then going into upload and going into the music space and we're just gonna do the same thing for all of the other sounds And so we have finished importing all of these sounds and we can save this to my computer and check the file again. And as you can see, the file has downloaded here. And now when we go into downloads and as you can see, this one is the MP3 version with the converted sounds. This one is without. So as you can see this one was on 114 megabytes and if we now check out this one it only has 67 megabytes so it's less than half of the above so as you can see this really made a huge impact on the file size and should therefore also make it far faster to load which we can quickly check out by going to my profile again and then when we go on this project again we will be able to see that it should actually load in a bit faster So as you can see it was quite a bit faster than the one beforehand. Massive shout out to Iguana Lover who was part of the Battlefront Scratch team and did awesome pieces of art like this for showing me this trick. And you should definitely follow him. He's one of the best scratchers in my opinion. So definitely pay him a visit. Massive thank you to all of my followers, especially my supporters, Bamfox and Plus One.